to the channel. Today we're going to be looking at my color grading workflow in Adobe Premiere Pro. Alright, so the first thing I like to do is uh, find my hero shot within the footage. Uh, this was shot on a tripod and it's a steel shot. So all of the frames are pretty much the same. So we're just going to use this frame uh, for our hero shot. Um, once you find your hero shot, go ahead and add an adjustment layer to your timeline. Um, this adjustment layer is going to be used for our color correction. Uh, also, I like to use adjustment layers because I can easily toggle off and on. I can toggle the adjustment layer on and off to see my changes. And also, when I'm done, I can just drag it out um, over multiple clips if I want to apply that same color correction onto multiple clips. So I'm going to go ahead and get into this color correction. To, our, um, to my image because it was shot in C-Log. It was a flat profile um, video. So I just added some contrast, brought down my blacks. Also, um, actually gonna adjust the highlights a little bit. Um, and all of this could be adjusted throughout the video. Uh, this is just a rough start to really just add some contrast and lower my blacks because it was a, and add some saturation to the video because it was a flat um, profile that I shot it in. So we're gonna continue to um, color correct this. Oh, I just wanna make note of something right quick while I'm in this creative tab. Uh, you could easily, if you're in a pinch or you're like in a rush, you're trying to um, get your workout quickly, you can easily just add any of these creative looks onto your um, onto your footage, and I find this kind of cool that uh, Adobe offer these uh, looks or these look up tables, uh, just in case you're ever in a rush and you, they are pretty good. Check those out. Um, so yeah, let's get back to this color. So just adding a little bit more contrast here. Um, I like to use this one to add contrast because you could actually, uh, I like to use this, it's actually called the RGB curves. I like it because you can be more dynamic with your contrast and choose which areas you really want to affect. Um, opposed to this contrast slider here, it just kind of make the adjustment for you. But with this curves um, tab, you could, you know, make it as dynamic as you want um of course you know you see it so um yeah just adding a little bit more contrast right now um and to me this is looking pretty good so far uh you know, I added that contrast, lowered my blacks, uh, you know, got my highlights right. Just got the overall image looking the way that I want it to look. And that's the main goal of the color correction is to kind of like balance out your image and get it to a point where all of your colors are pretty much correct. <laughs> uh, so uh, I think the color temperature is a little cool for this image. I shot it that way purposefully, so I'm just going to leave it like that I could add some warmness to it but I'll do that on the color grading side of things so um, yeah I think we're off to a good start now that we have this underway the next thing I like to do is add another adjustment layer so this adjustment layer will be specifically for the color grading um, and adding that stylized look to your footage 
uh, what we just did was kind of like get our footage like to Rec 709 uh, just to give it some color, some contrast and um, really bring it to life and now we're gonna add that style to our footage to you know uh, convey whatever message we want to convey with this so let's get to that uh, like I said I think I'm gonna add some more I'll do that last so So what I'm doing here is just uh, changing that overtone of those that like this image is filled with a lot of blues from the sky and then I shot it cool so it was just really blue and it was a little bit too blue for my liking. Um, it's just like a real dark blue so I'm just softening it up adding that teal look to it. Um, you may hear about the teal and orange look a lot in color grading. Um, it's just a proven method that works so I try not to go against the grain and just go with what works <laughs> honestly so um, just adding that touch of coolness um, in the right direction And if you notice here, um, I'm using, um, as I'm making these adjustments, I'm making these adjustments within the blue areas um, of the footage. Because like I said, mostly this footage was shot cool. Um, the skies and it, the skies reflecting off of the paint of the car. The car is a metallic color, so it's gonna reflect the, the sky. So. That's why I'm really focusing on the blues right now because that's the dominant point of the footage as mentioned earlier. So we're gonna go back and add some warmthness to it and everything as well. But right now I'm just focusing on this. Uh, I think that's good. I think that's good. Shadows. So within this color wheel section, this is where I like to um get creative um and just play around and see what looks good and i like this section because you can manipulate each section of the image so if you look at our shadows you can see we can add warmthness to the shadows or we can make it more cooler add some magenta to it if needed of course i'm over exaggerating so you can see what it does but the mid-tones you kind of can see you know that and the highlights are here as well. So I kind of like to go extreme. Uh, when I first started out, I would just do everything to the extreme to see what parts of the image that it affects. And then I would just dial it back. But um, that's one way to do it. Or you could just make little smart increments and you know just feel your way through. So whatever floats your boat, go for it. All right, so um, just pushing my shadows and my mid-tones into that, that um, orange warm feel. Cause um, like I said, the image was really cool to begin with. And I just felt like it needed some warmth, but I didn't want to really uh, overdo it. So I'm just going to leave it like this for the most part. And already we're looking pretty good. Um, Let's just see the before and after here. So this is a really cool uh, color temperature footage. And here is the color grade on it. So I already, you know, I already like it. Um, 
one last thing I'm gonna do I'm gonna show you guys is um, like making enhancements to your footage so I like to do color correcting then color grading and then making any enhancements to the photos I mean to the footage whether that be volumetric lighting or just masking out the certain parts of the image to make it pop uh, right now what we're going to do is mask out this GTR logo and really bring this footage to life because um, I feel like we have a good shot it looks good but it's just lacking something so I think once we make this GTR um, logo pop it'll really uh, give our viewers something to look at it will draw their eyes directly to what we wanted to see so um, let's go ahead and do that and we're going to do that the same way we did everything else I'm going to add another adjustment layer um, once I open this adjustment layer uh, once you have your adjustment layer we're going to go over to the effects panel and look up Lumetri color which is already here so I'm going to uh, it's already typed down right here but normally you would type it in there. Uh, and what we're gonna do for this is actually mask out the GTR logo. Uh, no, a lot. We're gonna use this circle mask. Um, it's just easier to use this because it's already a circle in the area that we want to uh, apply this to is kind of like uh, a circular type uh, area if that makes sense I know that probably don't make sense it's just easier to use this I actually could have used the square mask but you'll see once we feather it and add the exposure to it that it's better to use a circle mask than the square mask for this or you could have just actually masked out the logo itself uh, which would have took a lot more time but this is just like a rough quick edit so I'm just gonna show you this way uh, so we have our circle mass here let's just feather this out uh, so it won't look okay. what we want to do is now that we have our logo masked out we're just gonna add some exposure to that part of our image. Already it's looking good, but I see a few things wrong with this. Um, we have to feather this out a lot more. And make this smaller. So that's looking really good. That's looking really good. Uh, one thing now that I'm looking at this is like a few things I really don't like about the color grade right now. And that will happen as you're working on it. You're going to find things that you like, you don't like. And it's cool because we have our adjustment layers here. We could just go back into our adjustment layers and just make whatever changes we need or we see. Like, I don't like the overall look of the footage. It just looks kind of too flat for me. So I'm just gonna add a little bit more contrast and make the um, tilt and orange a little bit more dramatic just to see if that changed the way I feel about the footage. So uh, go back to my color correction. Actually, I'll just do this in the actual color grading part. Um, I actually want this to pop a little more. And this is really extreme. Normally, I don't think I would go with this extreme, but uh, like again, we're working with C Log flat footage, so you can really push this footage to the extreme. Um, but yeah. Push this up. And I'm actually going to push this up into the um, 
to the orange a little bit uh, in between like orange and red at first I had it more in between yellow and orange wasn't really feeling it too much so I'm just gonna shift both of these to more towards the orange side and also uh, what I did uh, was lower the shadows right here because uh, I feel like like I said the image was too flat so I had my shadows up kind of high uh, so I just lowered that out a little bit and um, I just like this look a little better you let me know what you think down below if you like the first look or this look better uh, it's getting kind of late and I've been looking at the screen all day so my eyes could be playing tricks on me uh, ultimately you should be looking at your graphs over here on your left but like I said, I'm just doing something quick, just letting you uh, see my workflow and the process behind what I do. So um, this is pretty much it though. Uh, let's just take a look back at where we started with the flat footage. So this is our C-log footage, just flat, play it through. This is our footage with the color correction which looks pretty good. This is it with the color gray. And finally, we just added that, that pop to the GTR logo right there. Just really, just really sold it. So, like I said, uh, let me know what you think down below. This is just my process on, you know, color grading, color correcting, um, just, adding that cinematic look to your footage. I hope you learned something. Um, it's getting late. I know it's way past my bedtime, so I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up and I'll see y'all.